Kubla Khan, grandson of the great conqueror Genghis Khan, coveted the island nations. History has it that twice his fleet struck at Japan's shores, and twice they were repulsed by a divine wind. The Japanese believed that this wind, the kamikaze, was sent by the gods to save Japan from its enemies. Today, off Takashima Island, there lies the wreck of a ship lost more than 700 years ago. For over 20 years, this area has proven to be a rich archaeological site, but the ship found in October 2001 is a first. Gathered in the foothills of Colorado, the sea hunters planned their upcoming expedition to Japan. The invitation to assist in the excavation of such a rich site is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. While providing additional archaeological expertise to the Japanese team, the Sea Hunters plan to expand the search into areas as yet unexplored, where they hope more Mongol relics await them. It can be so well preserved. I mean, uh, you know, once it's in the mud and the oxidation ceases, uh, it's incredible what, what can last for 2,000 years, basically. So I, I would imagine that there's just tons and thousands and thousands of fascinating artifacts buried down there under the mud. And they've just found it, and we're the only crew that they've invited in to take a look at it, and that's, that's incredible. This adventure takes the team to the Kyushu region of Japan. Off the coast of the tiny island of Takashima, the sea hunters will dive an archeological treasure, a wreck which may shed light on the history of the Mongol fleet and the myth of the divine wind. It was here on these shores that the Mongol invaders landed seven centuries ago. Takashima, with its rolling hills, rice fields, and rugged coastline, looks much as it must have then. In the small, peaceful communities which dot the island's coast, the citizens remain in touch with their cultural traditions. For years, Japanese fishermen operating in these waters found pottery and other artifacts in their nets. These occasional finds and an abiding interest in the Mongol invasions inspired Dr. Torao Mozai scientist, engineer, and one of Japan's fathers of underwater archaeology to begin a systematic search of the seabed of Imari Bay. Unlike so much of the rest of developed Japan, the archaeological record here has remained relatively undisturbed. Dr. Mozai and his team located and recovered numerous relics of the period, such as stone mortar bowls and shards of pottery ware. The Takashima History and Folklore Museum now contains this rich trove of artifacts from the Mongol fleet. One important relic brought to Dr. Mozai by a fisherman is a bronze stamp or seal. The script on the seal indicates that this was the personal seal of a cavalry commander of Kublai Khan's Yuan dynasty, perhaps bestowed by Kublai Khan himself. When I took a look at the seal, I could not read the inscriptions at first glance. When I took a closer look, it was easy to understand that most of the letters were not Chinese characters. There is a portion written in Chinese which states the year as the 14th of Yuan history, so that clearly tells me that the seal came from Yuan. 